popular MMOs was an extremely large channel with over 17 million subscribers and 14 billion views. But what you might not know is that this channel has a dark and controversial past. The popular MMOs channel was initially run by a couple, Pat and Jen. The two married in 2015 after a year of being engaged. We just got engaged. No, no we, got, we did it. Wait, we just got wait, married. Wait. <laughs> We got engaged a year ago. Were you here today? At this point, they were doing quite well together. It seemed that everything was going uphill, and it did for the next couple years as they continued to grow. But after some time, Pat and Jen would start seeing some problems in their marriage. We decided to break up. There's a lot of reasons for yeah. that. Um, obviously, one of the reasons, I'm sure, one of the reasons you guys could probably even think of is we've been asked about a million times. Do we want to have kids? Jen does want to have kids. I do not want to have kids. And that's a big issue because that's something that's really important to me. Yeah, and we both deserve to be happy in life. This obviously caused strain on their relationship and was why they finally decided to part ways. After this, it wasn't long before Pat started dating again. In 2020, Pat would start dating a woman known as LA. They would start streaming together and recording videos together. In May 2020, Pat even made a video with both Eleni and Jen. So this man was recording Minecraft videos with his ex-wife and current girlfriend in the same videos. That sounds pretty awkward, but they all seemed pretty happy making you it. You get away from me. You get away from you me. Get away from me. Get away from my house. Get away. That was until a few months later when Pat and Eleni would get involved in some very public drama. Pat would post a video called Eleni is a liar, which began the start of their feud. So um, here is something Eleni said, to, said online about me while we were still dating, actually. Um, he's an old, awkward, divorced man. Mm, not really. The girl he's with is too good for him. Eleni claims that they never even dated, and Pat claims they dated for over six months. Pat refutes his claim with a photo of them together, and she replies, that's not even me. Okay, so Eleni says that we were always just friends. You guys have seen on social media and never dated. Well, interestingly enough, I do have the picture uh, from when I matched with her on Tinder last year, and I said, we did date, of course, because we did. And then she says to me, knowing that we spent a year together, that we didn't date, how does that even make any sense? As funny as this comment is, this video contains over 40 minutes of drama between the two, in which neither of them comes out looking good. But Pat wasn't done here, not even close. Six days later, he would post another video on Eleni, which was titled, Eleni Tried to Control and Manipulate Me. This video is filled with more personal drama. Another week later, Pat was back at it, releasing a video called, Is Eleni a Gold Digger? In this video, it primarily discusses the financial problems between the two. They were posting videos together across a few channels, but primarily on the Pat and Friends channel. I want in writing that we split 50% of the channel, and this was on Pat and Friends or Pat and Eleni. This scenario is prime for problems, as they are intertwining both their relationship finances with their professional business dealings together. It's wrong that I have to ask you to get paid in the first place. She doesn't, it doesn't even make any sense. And anytime I ask, you act like I'm a horrible person for mind you, and then you refuse. That has never happened. Eleni says Pat is supposed to pay everyone on Sunday, but hadn't paid her as of almost Tuesday, which is a funny way to call Monday night. And Pat did say, we forgot in response. So it seems he was a day behind in his payments. This is where the story gets even crazier. Eleni said this isn't right, and Pat was going on a power trip, and she even told him that slavery has been illegal for many years, implying that she was his slave because the payment was a day behind. Just saying slavery has been illegal for many years. She literally called me like a slave owner at this point. Pat then tried to pay her partially over Cash App, but Eleni says she doesn't trust the app because the terms and conditions may result in her losing the money. She says she will deny the payment if sent. So Pat then went to deliver it to her house at 1220 at night. Now I'm on my way. I mean, if you're already out, you can swing by me. I'm at my house, obviously. It's 1215 in the morning, Eleni. Then come tomorrow. I'm just gonna leave it now. I'm not gonna be able to sleep if we're arguing. I mean, it didn't bother you since Sunday. I didn't think you cared. In this dispute, both parties were partially wrong because Eleni was in the wrong making such a large argument over being a day late. However, Pat was also wrong to not pay her and then make her jump through so many hoops to request payment, even if it was only a day or two late. This situation could have been resolved very quickly if they weren't acting so hostile to each other. A few days later on October 11th, Pat would upload his video saying goodbye Eleni, the end, in which they would finally break up and Pat would answer questions about it from his fans. And yes, guys, it is another Eleni video. I am so sorry. This is the final one. I know last time I mentioned that there might be another one. 
This is to end everything. This marked the end of this chapter and would see Pat move on to another girl. After Pat broke up with Lenny, he would get even more in trouble with his new girlfriend, Liz. The two started dating sometime in early 2021, a few months after the Lenny drama. Today, I am joined by my girlfriend, Liz. <laughs> on May 16th, 2021, Police would show up to Pat's house and arrest both him and Liz. Heavy.com obtained the police report from Duval County, Florida, which detailed the incident. It says that officers responded in reference to a naked female banging on the front door. The report says that Pat claimed they were drinking and got into an argument. Pat said that Liz was bipolar and often acts this way. This is a little suspicious, and what's weirder is that Liz and Pat supposedly gave conflicting stories to the police hence them being arrested because there were no independent witnesses to verify what happened. The report also states that the two were bandaged for injuries, but blacks out who that specifically refers to. Both individuals were arrested for domestic battery and transported to jail before being later released. Pat was released on a $2,500 bond and Liz was arrested on ROR, which is essentially a form of cashless bail. Both Pat and Liz had their charges dropped shortly after the incident. However, it was not without controversy. Pat's ex-wife, Jen, had liked a tweet which said Pat was an abuser. This fueled all kinds of speculation that Pat was abusing his ex-wife or his current girlfriend. But Jen later clarified that this was actually an accident. She had been browsing Twitter to keep up with the updates on the arrest and liked the tweet by mistake. Jen said clearly that Pat had never laid hands on her and was being unfairly portrayed. Pat said on his Twitter to not believe any of these allegations, after which he leaked Eleni's address for the world to see. He did this because he claimed she leaked his own address. Pat's address was in the public record at the time due to the arrest, so it's not clear how much that really counts as doxing, but he definitely went over a line here. Mind you, the address that Pat leaked was for her apartment building, which many people live, and not her specific unit or house. But nonetheless, this looks incredibly bad for Pat. Eleni would change her YouTube picture to Pat's mugshot, which is quite funny, but it definitely escalated the situation further. Pat tweeted again saying, thanks Eleni for leaking my address and harassing me and Liz when she told you to stop posting about her and you refused. You are a terrible person. After this, things cooled down for a while until about a year later, Pat would become involved with the police once again. And this time it was much worse. Court documents from the time detail the event. These documents were posted publicly by the Twitter account exposed Minecraft YouTubers. In the documents, Pat and Liz were reportedly out drinking and partying when Liz told Pat he was too drunk and wanted to go home. While she was driving, Liz claims that Pat began punching her in the arm. Although the arresting officer did not observe any injuries on their arm, the two got in a heated verbal argument on their way home. And upon arriving, Pat would fall asleep outside of the house because he was so drunk. In response, Liz locked all the doors to the house out of fear that he may harm her. Pat woke up and was armed with a knife while standing in front of the door to the house. He then used the knife to slash the tires of their vehicles. Liz came outside because she believed Pat had calmed down, after which Pat would chase her down the street with a knife. They ran around the neighborhood while she was screaming for help. After stepping on her heel, she fell and suffered an injury, which the police also verified. She continued to run until she found a security guard who stayed with her and called the police. The police report says that, my investigation revealed the suspect battered and assaulted the victim with a deadly weapon during the altercation. For this, Pat received two offenses, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill and domestic battery. At the time, Pat was placed on arrest awaiting trial. The outcome of the trial is unknown. While this story is quite dark, Pat's final arrest would occur in late 2022. And this one is a much happier story. Good luck, that was a stupid thing you guys did yesterday. According to Yahoo Sports, three men attempted to run on the field during the Jaguars NFL game. Only one of these men, Ethan Davies, succeeded, which we can see a video of him running shirtless across the field. Apparently, he was covered in an oil-like substance, which made it very difficult to take him down. For this, the three men were arrested. Pat pleaded no contest and was sentenced to two days in jail with credit for time served. Ethan Davies also pleaded no contest and is awaiting results. And the third man had his charges dropped. In the comments, Pat says that he was wrongly arrested. And this clip was right after they dropped his charges for wrongly arresting him. He claims he can't talk about the matter at the moment. This made fans happy, as many people in the comments were concerned about Pat's life trajectory. Given this was a third arrest in a span of a few years, no video has been made by Pat clarifying what actually happened since, but it seems no real consequences occurred because of this incident. I hope you all enjoyed watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.